In this video, we'll look at equivalent fractions. What does equivalent mean? It means equal. So we're looking at fractions that are equal to each other. So I'll show a third of a fraction. So I've split this into thirds. So this is one third. So it's a pizza that three people share. One person would get one slice and that's how big the slice would be. Now, another group of people buy another pizza, which is exactly the same size, but it's six of them, six people. So what they will do is share this equally as well. So how much will a person get? They will get one sixth. But if you compare and we we'll try to find what a third of the pizza is equal to in terms of sixths. So how many sixths would make a third? If you try and compare these, this whole thing would make one third. So I'll try and bolden these to show what a third looks like. And so two sixths make a third. Two sixths make a third. So what has happened to the number of slices? The number of slices has doubled. It was three, it is now six, because these slices are much smaller, although they've doubled. So in terms of the overall amount, the size of the pizza, that hasn't changed. And what actually happens to the slices that we're talking about? It was one slice, that's equal to two now. So we double those as well. So we've got two six. Now the same thing would happen if we had a pizza and it was shared in between nine people. So that would be a third, but now that has to be shared between three people, that third, because there are nine in total. So that makes this area here makes it is three slices out of nine in total. So what has happened to the overall number of slices? It's gone from three to nine. So it's been multiplied by three. What has happened to the number of slices we're talking about to the equal ones to the third? That is equal now to three sm smaller si slices. So again, that one has been multiplied by three. So what do you notice? When we multiply the top and the bottom number by the same number, then we get an equal fraction. So one times two gives you two, three times two gives you six. So that is an equal fraction. The slice, the amount has not changed. Then again, one times three gives you three, three times three gives you nine. So that represents the same amount. This just tells us that we split the pizza into smaller slices. There are more slices, but smaller. Now let's do quarters as well. So 
So here is a quarter, one out of four. And again, the pizza, if it's been split or shared by eight people, that area now is represented by two slices out of eight. So again, what's happened is that one was multiplied by two, doubled, and four was multiplied by two as well. So the fraction is still the same. The highlighted area is still the same. And the same thing would happen if this was split into more pieces, okay? Let's suppose we share these into 16. So a quarter is this area here. So that is one, two, three, four. That is four slices out of 16 in total. So what has happened? To get from one to four, we've multiplied by four. As you can see, within the one bigger slice, fit now four smaller slices. And the four that were in total now have become 16 because they're four and four and four and four. So we multiplied the bottom number by four as well. Now we'll look at fifths. So I'll show a fifth. Here is the fifth one out of five. And we'll share this pizza into ten. Split it into ten equal parts. So that one fifth now is represented by two slices. So it's two out of ten in total. So we doubled the number of slices so we also doubled the number of slices that fit into the bigger slice and let's try one more let's So that, that is a fifth. So that area is represented by three slices out of three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So looking at the numbers now, that one has been multiplied by 3 to give us 3 and the 5 has been multiplied by 3 to give us 15. And finally we'll look at the tenth. Equal parts. Here is a tenth and 
now we'll share the seam amount into 20. So I'll do it into 10 first and we'll halve those again. So where there was just one, it'd be two now. So two and the number of slices overall is 20. So it's doubled as well. So we'll try and show that. a bit more clearly so one slice has been replaced with two and what happened we doubled top number we doubled the bottom number as well and that showed just one more equivalent fraction it's going to be more difficult to show because there will be more slices so i'll show three for each one So one of the bigger slices is represented by three smaller slices now. So I've got three in the highlighted area, three out of 30. So again, to get from one to 3 we multiplied by 3 to get from 10 to 30 we multiply by 3 as well so we could also multiply by by 6 7 whatever number if you multiply the top and the bottom as well by the same number it will give you an equivalent equivalent fraction